to the 90. And the 90 was all like, where's this number at? And the place I got it from said that they've never put that number on the bills. So it actually had a spot for it. It said number need on the bills. Didn't notice that. But it said number needs. So I guess they knew that it needed a number and they didn't put it on there. This was the first load this year that Prime has taken over there and it had to be with me and it had to get messed up. So a lot dealing with night dispatch, which my night dispatch was real cool about everything. Um, she helped us out a lot as much as she could. She was on the phone with sales, helping me out, helping me out. Well, finally they came to a point where they just said, get out of here. So we had to leave. And then my fleet manager came in in the morning. He'd been working on this all day. And he finally got it fixed and got us a fax of the bills. But it wasted a whole day. We have drove zero miles. Well, we drove 30 miles today, but it doesn't count for nothing because guess what? We're, we're not dispatch miles. We already made it there and had to leave and then go back to it. So unfortunately my clock's gonna start again and that's gonna be the start of tomorrow and I'm hoping this place gets me out but most of the time when you're late somewhere or you had to come in the next day or they're not scheduled you for an appointment you have to wait right now I don't have an appointment time for it so we're just gonna leave out whenever we're gonna leave out at the old appointment time and just get over there at the same time we did this morning but we went to bed for a while, slept, got up, went on this load, and then that happened. So my student, while we were there, he got to catch some extra sleep. I was like, just go to bed. While I was, um, yeah, I was playing some video games. You know, you know me, I'm playing some video games on my phone. But I was also messaging dispatch, night dispatch. I was on the phone with them. I was on the phone with the guard shack. I was all over the place. So this place that I'm going to, you know, make sure that you have the correct numbers on there, I guess. So it was, uh, I don't want to put out the name of the place, but pretty much you better have, like, I'm going to rewrite the macro for it and I'm going to put down, hey, make sure that this number is on your bills if you're coming to this location. If this number is not on these bills, you might as well stop where you're at and, you know, get a hold of somebody to get this number put on there and even my fleet manager was all like this has never happened before and I was all like I know this never happened to me either before I've never had this happen you know it's all good you think you know from now on maybe the live loaded call might have to start catching that and they do a live loaded do, does enough I did live loaded call and they asked me what's the bill of lading number so I gave it to them off of these bills like I gave them this one because it's up here at the top it's at the very top I gave it to them but the number they needed was way down here at the bottom and it says need so the guard check people got a good laugh out of it they're all like need they, they even knew they needed it and they didn't type the number in here so then I started looking through my macros, no number on there either. So I was like, oh no. Night Dispatch got the correct number, but they wouldn't let me in because it's not printed on the bills. So I got a fax today, and you can't even read this thing really. But you can read the number they needed down here at the bottom. You can read that, so I'm calling it good, and we're gonna roll in with this paper. Probably leave out of here at like 11 o'clock because we left out at midnight and we were 10 miles from it. We're 30 miles from it right now. And when we left out at midnight, there was a long line. So I'm thinking we leave even earlier today for sure, like an hour earlier, so we can be in that line and just wait that line out. That way we'll be uh, in there sooner. And then hopefully they're all like, oh, you were the first truck coming in. Like, we got you. Let's unload you really quick. But as for my student, my student's out here grinding. He's doing good. He's getting his miles, getting some miles in, you know, some experience. He's had the high winds. That 
that invisible force that hits you while you're moving. Like, he got to experience that. There was this one point we went up on this bridge, and I said, hey, be ready. It's going to push you hard right here, so slow down some. And this big gush of wind, whoo, push him. And we were at 40, 14, no, how many pounds was this? Yeah, 14,000 pounds. Yeah, it was 14. So we only got 14,000 pounds in there. It's almost like being empty. But we drove slower speeds. He got to learn how to drive slower speeds because of the weather. So we did. He got to do like 55 on the interstate and 50 in some parts. And, you know, he got to see, hey, man, whenever there's an open field, it's going to be windy. When there's a bunch of trees, not so bad. So he's getting a lot of experience. And um, he's been he's been running everything he needs to. Like, I have drove some mainly because, like, the last night I drove because he was he drove in all that wind and stuff and you know he was pretty much out of hours so i was like i'll just drive us in there get it done and then i drove us over here of course and it was still windy this morning he got a it sleeted on him some he's drove in rain he's drove at night he's drove during the day um some sleet some rain wind uh I think the only thing next is some ice, so we'll probably go over a mountain next and put them on some ice or something, my luck. I don't want to go on no ice, but with my luck here lately, I tell him all the time he's a jinx and he's the reason all this bad stuff's happening right now. Because I've been having bad loads or getting stuck in the black hole of Prime. And I actually this week we ended up right back to the black hole, but luckily my fleet manager gave me a quick load to get us out of there. That's the load we're on right now. The one that kind of got us pretty much stuck here. So, you know, it is what it is, though. You can't win them all. So hopefully after this one, we had a pre-plan after this load, too. So we were going to grab another. This is a meat load. We're gonna, we were going to grab another meat load and run in, and it was a short one, and I wasn't too happy about it, so I got removed off of that one. But we'll see what happens in the morning I guess we'll see if we're still stuck in paradise of Kansas City all right I'm out like comment and subscribe I'm out like comment and subscribe ring the bell get my latest lives get my newest videos also in the description there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter my recruiters good don't forget to drop that referral code COXDJO. Also, my phone number is 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me something.